Hi, I'm Dale from Beaver Valley Woodworking. Today's episode is going to be a special one because we got a special guest woodworker in the house. Uh, he's uh, Ron Buchanan, aka the traveling woodworker. Here he is. Hi, everybody. Well, uh, Ron's uh, traveling across country, stopping at selected woodworkers. Mm. By invitation only. <laughs> only if I'm invited. I, I don't just show up at people's houses. And I'll add a link to the description of the website where you can check out Ron, his travels. Pretty cool website. We'll, we'll insert it like right here. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that's uh, we're traveling around, uh, going from woodworker to woodworker, uh, doing a little projects, and uh, that's pretty much how I'm going to fund this. Uh, it's, you know, it, four bucks a gallon for fuel, it's getting expensive. So we'll build a project and then uh, offer it for sale on my website. And uh, the project we uh, built are rocking horses. A scooter. Yeah, like a, I said. A rocking uh, horse. Uh, 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 it's a rocking scooter. Yeah, it's rocking scooters. There you go. Rocking scooters? Yeah, rocking scooter, man. Are, are they going to have like a radio in there so I can rock Absol out to some music? Absolutely. Cool. Well, I mean, what good is it with no, you know, you got to pimp it up. Just <laughs> pimp my child scooter. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> we got our templates from the AnnaWhite.com uh, website. I'll post a link in the description so this way you can go there, print out your own templates for, for your own project. <laughs> Ron's having tons of fun taping together the templates for this project. Using the jigsaw to cut out the sections of the template, it'll make it easier to cut on the bandsaw. Cuts like butter. Ron is making these templates just perfect by edge sanding them right up to the cut lines. This is the layout of the parts on a 1x10 8 foot board. Plan A was to use the templates with a flush trim bit. We had some issues with wood chipping and splitting when we went from the end grain to the edge grain, so we ended up going with Plan B instead. Plan B is to use the templates to trace out the pattern. We'll do a little rough cut on the pieces on the bandsaw, then take it on over to the edge sander, sand them right up to the cut lines. Ron is putting on a quarter inch round over on all the pieces. This way there won't be no sharp edges. Using an inch and a quarter hole saw to make the holes for the holders. That's where our handles will go. Putting a quarter inch round over on the ends of the handles, gotta make sure no sharp edges. I'm letting Ron do all the final sanding with the detail sanding. Uh, here you are, folks, the finished products, the rocking scooters. And they rock. Yep. They're pretty cool. And I, I got these plans from AnnaWhite.com, who obviously got them from somebody else, but that's where they came from. I'll uh, post a description down below to the link to that website, so you know where to find, find the plans for them. And then, of course, you just adapt them to your particular working styles. You don't have to follow them exactly. <laughs> First outtake. If you want to make a...
Get you. You can follow Beaver Valley Woodworking on Google+, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Keek, and the brand new BeaverValleyWoodworking.com. Thanks for watching.